Hey guys, it's Willie Sandry. Today we're going to look at how to vent leather cushions with these simple brass grommets. You can use grommets or ventilators. Either way, you need to vent leather or vinyl cushions so it doesn't stress the seams. Stick around, we'll check it out. So usually on the bottom of a leather cushion is a good place to hide the vents. I typically do three of these 7 16 inch brass grommets. Right along the zipper panel or boxing of the cushion is a good place to put them so that you won't notice them in regular use, but they'll let air easily escape from the cushion as the user sits on the chair. So it's a great way to do it and it really is a must for leather or vinyl cushions so you don't destroy the cushions prematurely. So the basic idea is just to punch a 7 16 inch hole in your leather. Start with the male portion of the grommet and you can turn that upside down on the die. There's a little recess for the grommet to sit that specifically fits this size of grommet. Put your ring on top and then you can go ahead and set the grommet. Okay, so it looks pretty decent on the back side and a really nice finished look on the show side. Okay, so that's what we're going to add to our cushion today. Okay, so we've determined that this should be the front of our cushion and so I'm going to set the grommets just next to the zipper tape on the back side so they'll be less visible when the cushion's in use on the rocking chair in this case. And so we'll just simply start by setting some holes into the leather here, one roughly centered right above the zipper tape here. Okay, and then I usually just use my punch as a rough spacer so I can set another one on either side. Don't like that. Okay, and then once you have your holes set, take the male portion of the grommet, insert that through the show side, and get yourself set up on the die. And just make sure that you're in that little recess. Go ahead and place the ring on top, and then we'll go ahead and set that grommet. Okay, we got our first one set. We'll carry on and set the other two and we'll be ready to stuff the cushion. Well, sometimes there's a little bit of fear when it comes time to punching grommets in your finished leather cushion. After all, you have spent some time planning and cutting and sewing the cushion. So you don't want to wreck anything at this point, but you should be able to proceed with confidence and go ahead and punch holes in the boxing of the cushion and install those grommets. Just make sure that you have the right die set for the grommets that you're using. We've always got our shop dog trooper ready to help us. so. Let's take a little closer look at that chair and see how she came out. Usually three grommets is enough to do it for an average size cushion, but this really helps prevent your cushion and prevent that stress to the seams. The cushion will last a lifetime. It's really a great technique and I consider it a must for leather upholstery. All right, well let's pop that cushion in place and see how it looks. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you dress out an antique Limbert chair. And it's properly vented so you won't stress out your seams on the cushion. Try this technique in your own shop and see if it doesn't work for you. Thanks for watching.